Why? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome. I know you guys are still in your home worshiping, but I want you guys to know that God is with us no matter where we are. So let's dress up properly. Let's sit properly and give God our full attention. Okay? But before we worship, we are going to pray all together. Lord Father, help us to focus on you and help us to know that wherever we are worshiping is the church. Lord, please receive our worship and we want to give our everything to you. Lord, may you, uh, may your name to be lifted. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye!
if we could, we would fill our hands with all the wonderful things you give us. Then we'd lift them up and give them back to you. The disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was already a considerable distance from land, fed by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus came to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw them walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Matthew fourteen twenty two to 27 Hello church, welcome to Sunday worship. How often do you use the word trust? Like, trust me, I can make you into a millionaire. How well do you trust others? As for me, I trust people, especially my husband. Well, earlier today, teacher Paul told me that he wanted to feed me a cake. Mm. And he said, trust me, I'll feed you the most delicious cake in the whole entire world. Yum! So let's invite teacher Paul. Paul! Hello guys. This is how we quarantine for nine months and get fat. But it's okay. I can go exercise. Cake is my life. 
okay so teacher paul is going to feed me but i i i trust him i trust him that he's gonna do a good job but i just just in case i brought my apron so that my uh, favorite teddy bear clothes doesn't get dirty okay i don't know how teacher paul is gonna feed me but he told me to prepare so okay so here we go teacher paul i'm ready should i tie my hair maybe i should tie my hair right none of my business <laughs> Okay, let me just not tie it. Okay, I'm ready. How are you gonna feed me? Ah! Well, no, no. no. <laughs> what? Like, like you. Are you, can you do a good job? Can you see? What well, do you mean, can you do a good job? Can yes, you like can, not? Yes, okay. Yes, yes, okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Don't worry about it, guys. Okay. Ready. All cream, zero calories, gluten free. <laughs> like that. Oh, it's done. What is this, guys? I thought he told me to trust him. I don't know if I can trust him the way I did. Let me just go clean this mess and I'll be back, okay? Pyong! Okay, this is much better. Let me ask you guys a question again. How well do you trust others? Who do you trust the most? Definitely not teacher Paul for me. And if you guys struggle to trust, what makes it hard to trust someone? We may think that we trust a person until we are put to a test. I thought I trusted teacher Paul completely, but as you saw, it was not the case. Trusting someone can also mean that we have faith in that person. In today's story, we see how one of Jesus' disciples stepped out in faith. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little hungry. Just... Do you guys remember what we talked about last week? Oh, this is a hint. Last week, we talked about Jesus feeding the 5,000 with just two small fish and five loaves of bread. The miracles of Jesus. Wow! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya! Hey, Jesus! After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah! Whoa! he was terrified and began to sink. Pedro, help me. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. 
Then the disciples worshipped him and said, You really are the Son of God. After Jesus taught and fed the crowd, he sent his disciples to get into a boat and go to other side of the sea. After everyone went away, Jesus went up on the mountain to pray by himself. Wait, pause. Just How is Jesus going to get back to his disciples? Maybe he can swim like a dolphin or own a private boat? Let me actually read our verse today. Let me just open my Bible to Matthew. Guys, this is awesome! In Matthew chapter 14, verse 24, it tells us that the disciples were struggling big time, just like this. A strong wind arose and the boat was, to boat was tossed around the waves. They didn't know what to do. They were so far away from the land. Then something cool happened. While they were being tossed here and there, they saw someone walking towards them. Wait, what? Walking? They're in the middle of the storm and the person is walking on the water. H2O? What? Matthew 14, 25 says, Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. So, okay, it was Jesus. Um, but the disciples thought that it was a ghost. So they were terrified. I mean, wouldn't you? Now, right away, Jesus spoke to them and said, Have courage. It's me. Don't be afraid. I've been here for a long time. It's me. Now, Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, said, If it really is you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus said, Come. Peter took his one foot off the boat, then his other one, and slowly started work, walking towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was scared and began to sunk. Da -da -da -da! So he cried out to Jesus and he said, Save me! Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. And Jesus said, You have little faith. Why did you doubt? Why? Por qué? Hue? Hmm? Jesus and Peter got into the boat and the wind stopped. Then everyone in the boat worshipped Jesus and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. Church, in the midst of the storm, Jesus was with his disciples. Did you know that in the midst of our storm, Jesus is with us? When it seems like there's no way out and we are being tossed here and there, Jesus is with us, ready to rescue. Church, God is in control. And he says, don't be afraid. Our loving father who is powerful, he cares about you. So let's fix our eyes on Jesus. If we are so focused with our problems, then we won't be able to see what Jesus has for us. God is faithful 
and He is our loving and powerful Father. Jesus proved it through our scripture today. In fact, Jesus showed and proved His power all throughout the scriptures. Do you know what this means? We can seek Him for our salvation and ask for help as we live our lives. I pray, I really, really do pray and hope that in the midst of fear and trouble and even in doubt, that you guys would reach your hand out to Jesus and say, Lord, help me. Father, save me. I know that you are powerful, so take control of my life. And boys and girls, I promise you that God will answer and He will rescue us. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we are so thankful that you are a powerful God. Lord, in the midst of our trouble and our doubt and in our fear, Lord, we know that you are with us. Please help us to um, get on our knees and reach our hand out to you and say, Lord, help me. I know that you can save me through this, Lord. So, Father God, please help us to fully depend on you. Help us to know that you are powerful, that we need you uh, to guide our lives. And Lord Father God, not only that, please help us to tell other people how powerful, how loving, and how awesome you are. Lord, we thank you. We really love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for boys and girls, and I'll see you guys next week. But before I let you guys go, we are going to say our Lord's Prayer together. So let's close our eyes, put our hands together, and let's pray our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.